I'm here with the man, Joe, big Joe Goosen. Uh, what a handsome chap, I've got to say. He looks uh, I used to be. He still are. He looks a million dollars worth. I walked through and, I, and he just shined up. You can still see this, the lights reflecting the background. That's what he looked like to me. So what's it like working with him here? Oh, I mean, first off, it's an honor. I told him the first time I ever talked to him here when he called me, I said, look, I, you know, I want to tell you, not only am I accepting your offer to go to work, but I want to tell you, I've watched your whole career and been impressed with it, of course. And I said, it's, it's really an honor for me to work with you. And I said, I want you to know that. So, you know, you don't think that I, I'm not aware of your, of your successes and the hard work you've put in from being an Olympian at 17 years old and beating grown men. And then becoming a world champion at 22 years old, Rashid, that's uh, that's not an easy. That's that's an achievement that most fighters can only dream of. So, silver medal, world title. I told him, I said, I'm, I'm honored to work with you. Tell me what attributes you like about Amir so far, comparing him to previous people that you work with. What do you like about him? Well, the good thing is, is that you know. The great fighters are always originals. Um, they have uh, their own qualities that make them stand out and apart from, you know, some of the other champions I might have had, which is a good thing, because that means you're not average. That means you're an original, and um, you have your own qualities. And uh, what I like about Amir, number one, is his work ethic. He's He's dedicated, and I'm no easy guy in the gym. I, you know, I'm kind of known for pushing the, you know, boundaries, pushing the boundaries and the limits, and um, and not because I'm I'm sadistic or that I'm doing it for my own pleasure. I'm doing it because it's such a dangerous business Definitely. that if you don't work harder than the other guy, and I'm always assuming somebody's trying to outwork us, um, if you don't go into the training thinking that the other guy is out working you then you might be making a big mistake so maybe it's a little paranoid on my part but I think from my experiences you know as long as you're not taking some sort of abuse in the gym physically from other fighters yeah. um, that you can't work too hard on the floor you know the bags the mitts the speed bag the double end the rope the shadow box you name it all of the uh, all the stuff that you would do on the floor and in the ring, including sparring. Now, again, sparring, you have to you have to push the boundaries as long as your your guy is not taking abuse. If he's dishing it out, then you're fine. So, um, you know, for instance, we we've had a healthy amount of sparring in the last two and a half, three weeks in preparation for this fight. All right, a couple of questions for you. Yeah. What do you think to Amir's hand speed? I've always thought he's probably one of the fastest punches in the world. Well, I, I really hadn't gotten to that, Rashid, but I was getting that. But now that you brought it yeah, up, um, you know, this is one of the one of this is obvious, the one that most people uh, know uh, Rashid uh, uh, Amir for. Rashid is his hand speed. You know, he's got an incredible uh, jab, number one, and then once he starts touching with the jab. He starts putting those combinations together, and um, I'll tell you, a lot of guys are blinded by it and uh, overwhelmed by it, and this has been one of his great fortes, is his hand speed. So, yeah, you're right about that. That's just one of his great qualities. We're talking about Greco, and I want you to tell me, in literally 20 seconds, because I want to hear what, where we're going with Greco as quick as you possibly can, because I want to know, um, there's so many flaws to Greco myself, so we could talk about his flaws. What do you think is the key for victory for Amir with Greco? Yeah, and the only reason I brought up the Canelo fight is because you had brought up how it was going well up until that point, and I agree. Had he have been able to avoid that little deke, as we call it in the business, I think he could have easily won a decision against Canelo. Now, that being said, fast forwarding to La Greco, um, I think, you know, we've, we've shored up that defensive, uh, what I looked at as a little bit of a defensive flaw, where you don't get tricked into that, because 
Well, Greco will probably look at that and go, hey, I'm going to try that trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you make sure that that's short up. That's number one. Number two, look, Greco's not going to be able to deal with, with um, uh, Amir's speed. And not just his speed. I think, you know, and I hope and pray that the defensive drills we're working on will manifest themselves in the ring on the 21st, which I believe they will. And that um, defensively, he's going to be very acute. And um, uh, offense, we we know we've never had a problem with with uh, Amir's offense. It's always been dynamic and explosive. explosive. And if if he hits you with that liver shot, oh, you, you know, me. then you're really in trouble. Then you so, get made on it. Right. That's what we nickname it now. You know, like tell him go to the head and then back down to the Maidana. Okay. Prediction. What is going to happen? Uh, what round do you think is going to be a stoppage? You know, Rashid, I, I've been around a long time, and, and I do assure the fans, and I assure my fighter of one thing. We're going to win. Definitely. And I kind of leave it at that, because sometimes the fights that look the hardest can end up the easiest, and the fights that end up easiest can end up the hardest. And I could give you a million examples of it where I said, we're in a camp, it's going to go on, it's going to be a long-distance fight, it ends in one round. You can't tell, you don't know, but I will tell you one thing. We're training so hard and so diligently, and Amir is such, he's so in tune with his work that I, I am predicting one thing, I'm predicting victory. Victory. Mm -hmm. On that note, you've heard it here first, it's Mr. Goosen, your boy Lion AR, and in the background we did see Amir, but I think personally it's going to be a stoppage, round five, Mr. Goosen says it's going to be victory, we know that, God willing we're getting this, that's the way we're going now, freak him. Mr. Goosen, the camera can you say freak him baby oh no no we're gonna freak him baby for sure freak him, baby. and you know i like i like rashid i like your prediction and you know what it may come true and and you know what i would i, I would take it hey line a or freak him tv peace good, good, good. yeah you're good thanking you for watching this video if you like what you see give it a thumbs up feel free to share comment down below and do subscribe